Hi guys and welcome back. So I know many of you have been waiting for the field test and I've actually field tested it because I actually needed to use it to see if it actually works. Uh, so this is the FPV drone finder and I'm going to be making a full playlist of this from the first prototype to the first uh, build to the field testing as well as the future upgrades that we're going to be doing and we are going to be taking this guy to the next step. So the current code as I have tested it and I'll show you guys the field uh, when I when I actually just picked it up and lost a quad in the bushes and just started walking with it. Um, it's the, the accuracy or the sensitivity that it's working on is basically once you're around 10 meters away then it'll start picking it up and once you hit about one meter away from the quad you get an absolute full signal. So that's how it's working. I've tested it three times or, or yeah three times. Uh, one time I was walking for a very long time because I forgot to change the channel. So that's something very important. So I might actually change the code in the beginning when it turns on to say double check your uh, channel because I was searching on A1 but my quad was on A2 on the second test so that's something very important and you should take note of and uh, the thing is the, the module itself actually stays it keeps the memory so whatever is the last channel you have it on it'll just stay on that channel so that's pretty sweet so um, overall it worked very well um, as you can see I just picked up a used battery that I used from flying and just stuck it in and went for a walk however don't forget it on because it'll suck the juice right out of your battery and that's what happened to me my other one and um, make sure you get the exact voltage on the voltage regulator as I got because that's very important because it does seem kind of, you know, um, it balances itself through the code and through the RSSI voltage. And later on, we're going to make something where uh, where we're going to make it super, super accurate. Uh, but that's going to be later on. It needs a little bit more modifications. But right now, it's pretty accurate. It's very good. And... Um, yeah, well, it's working very well. So uh, we're going to be getting more into detail with this. I'll show you guys how to do the code. If any of you don't know how to put the code on, uh, if you've built it and uh, all that kind of crazy stuff. So let's jump to the field and let me show you what happened. Okay, so I just remembered that I had it on the wrong channel. I have this on A1. It's supposed to be A2. So I just changed it. Hopefully we can pick up something. Oh, there it goes. It's pretty high here. So let's just do it like this. There's something here. Okay. All right. I'm just looking at the phone and the meter. I'm not even looking in front of me. So we got a full signal. Oh, that is sweet. Hell yeah. So it works. Just don't forget to change the channel. We're walking. Okay, we're getting some kind of signal. Let's stop here and start turning. Okay, we, yeah, you see that? That's perfect. So now we're walking, walking, following this line. Boom! That's just super sweet. It's right there. So, yeah, well, it works. All right, guys, so overall it worked. Um, however, I'll be setting up maybe super sensitive mode and maybe we could add like two buttons. Or something where we could change um, from super sensitive to not sensitive which is when you're close you would we'll call it proximity and um, and uh, I don't know wide range or something or long range and proximity so if you have no idea where it went from long range so this way we would increase the sensitivity we would press long range until we get into the proximity then we would change to proximity and it'll give us the same effect as you guys saw in that last video i just showed you i did three tests the first one i was too excited i just made a bunch of curse words and i really don't want to show it um and the second one it was just a pretty calm mellow air and, and yeah but that one was after walking for 15 minutes on the wrong channel i had no idea where the quad was um but anyways we found it it works beautiful um i was very satisfied and i'm very pleased with it and i'm very happy with it um, these are the type of crashes that this will come in handy if you don't have a buzzer. Um, however, on the B fight, the first, I don't know if I showed you that one, but the B fight does have a buzzer, but I didn't use it. And um, it just found it for me. So it's pretty sweet. And I know some of people will say, yes, but I, don't be, I know for a fact that not all, most of my crashes will end up without a battery. But when the battery is still plugged in, this is very awesome to have. You know, I know the size factor is huge, but maybe I could custom make a PCB for this and then maybe we can sell it and then just for cheap and then maybe we can um support the channel it'd be pretty sweet like a nice one where it takes the screen just nicely just solder that in and 
some other stuff i don't know maybe we could do that but right now we're going to do upgrades on this guy so this guy's gonna be pretty sweet so i think we're going to do that long range and proximity buttons i think those will be important and to read for you that says it's in, in proximity or long range or maybe add leds no, but adding leds will just make it more of a mess so we could use the screen here or maybe add another smaller screen to tell us the status that'll be pretty sweet so overall this works this antenna's pretty good um i got it from banggood i'll leave a description down below um however it kind of well you can't see it now but because i'm moving it on and off so much it kind of like i don't know if it was um super glue holding it in place but it's kind of loose here so i'm just gonna have to glue that in but the contacts are still contacting so that's something to take note of if you bring this just be very gentle with it um when i was unplugging the battery i just smacked the shit out of it so that's why that's why, why that happened um and um yeah well overall it's a it's it's a success it worked and um if anyone's building it please let me know and if you built it and how it's working out for you and let us know and if you guys need help i'll do my best to help out i'm still using that same last code i have on github it's in the link down below i will be making a playlist for this so if you've gone ahead and missed the previous uh videos of this go ahead and check out the playlist you'll find them there and uh this is going to be an evolving project so that's going to include it for this video guys i really hope you guys enjoyed it and if you guys have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to let me know. And I will see you next time. See you guys. Take care.